Before I begin this video, I want to wish every single one of you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. This entire channel has grown so much faster than I ever expected and I want to say thank you to every single one of you guys including my subscribers, everybody from Clockology fans and also the hardworking dev team as well. I think we can all agree that 2020 has been a bit of a tough year but so long as we have our custom watch faces on our Apple Watches, we'll be ready for 2021. Let's do this. What's going on guys? Kelvin here and welcome to 320 Tech. Have you guys ever experienced this? I mean, when I first saw it, I had no idea what it was. I mean, I didn't set a blurred background as my watch face. I don't want to see this and neither do you guys based on what I've heard. Isn't that why you guys are watching this video? I mean, you guys are watching this video, so obviously you guys don't want to see it. Duh, Kelvin. Anyways, as time went on, I learned why this blurry watch face was appearing. Just the FYI, it has nothing to do with Clockology. So don't go bothering the devs or asking everybody else from Clockology fans. It's not their job. It's not their job. Yeah. It's not their job to answer this question for you. Just bother me instead. Those guys have enough questions on their plate. Believe me, they get asked the same questions every single day and they're sick of it. Anyways, enough rambling on. Why is this weird blurred watch face thingy showing up? Well, it's to do with the always on display of your Apple Watch. As we all know, the always on display is a feature that's present in the Apple Watch series five and six. And it does basically what it says it does. It's an always on display. Disgrace? Always a disgrace? Kelvin always disgrace? Oh yes, Kelvin the biggest disgrace to the family. He always filming every day and he not a doctor. Kelvin a disgrace. And it keeps the display always on using the LTPO. That stands for the Low Temperature Polycrystalline Oxide Display. What, whatever, whatever that means. Basically, what that does is allow the screen to go as low as one hertz or one screen refresh per second. This allows you guys to see what time it is without raising your wrist, whilst at the same time not draining a large amount of battery. It's really, really cool. Believe me, I have it on my Series 5. However, one of the side effects, I guess, of this feature is if you're in a third party app and you have the always on display enabled, if you put your wrist down, instead of showing the always on display, it will show this blurred time background. Now, as we all know, Quakeology is a third party application. And if you have the always on display enabled and put your wrist down, it will show this blurred time background. So how do we do this? How do we make sure that this blurred background time will never show up again? Hey grandma, do you know? Oh, what's that? What's that? You asking me? Why do I think I'm an old lady? As someone from Cockology friend, they do everything about Cockology. Not me, okay? She could have just said no. To fix this issue, all you guys need to do is turn off the always on display. So we'll start off by going on the home screen, then pressing the Apple Watch app, and we'll scroll down until we see display and brightness. We'll press that. You see over here, it says the always on. We'll press that and then we'll turn it off. That was so easy. By doing this, I can assure every single one of you guys that every single time you raise your wrist, you'll be seeing a custom Clockology face and not this. <laughs> Did you guys know that this blurred background time was caused by the always on display? Let me know in the comments. 
If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys want to see some more Cocology content in the future. Anyways, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.